Hello everybody and welcome to the Batman Arkham Knight video game review. So my first ever video was based on this game and it was about um, all the uh, free DLC options that you can get from PlayStation Store or maybe possibly Xbox Live. So um, we might as well just get right into it. So at the beginning you get this main menu which is absolutely just, I mean it's a lot different from the Arkham, from the previous Arkham games. But you can all uh, uh, you can like quickly orient to this because it, it is very similar to the uh, previous game. So in, as soon as you get in, you can start new game, and the storyline is very complex, very uh, and lots of side missions, a lot more side missions, I think. So I think it's pretty fun. So also you can start off with all the characters that you can start with. You basically you start with this man. And then you get into the uh, Bat Suit VA 403, and then you can earn this one too, the uh, Bat Suit VA 04. So we're gonna get on to this one just for the heck of it. And uh, also, there's loads of DLC characters that you can get for free, and lots for money, or like one buck, two bucks. So yeah, so you can uh, you can do a lot on this. Um, and then you get all the showcase characters and the character models which is really um this is actually pretty uh cool because uh it's a lot like the previous game so of course they always add on this time they also have vehicle model showcases like the extra vehicles that are in the game so that's also cool so we're gonna get right into the game now so as soon as you get you get the um original flying bats transitioning screen which is just like the previous games and the loading symbol and this loading sound also is a lot like the game so this is probably the best batman simulator you can ever get with loads of crime fighting techniques and the the graphics is out of this world the storyline i think they could have done a better job than from the previous games and But I think it was a little more complex than the others, and it involved you a lot more. And it also involved the first time where you get to drive this Batmobile. There is a standard Batmobile, but this is also free DLC. Um, and this is what the Batmobile looks like. Honestly, I think it is a pretty cool car. Whoa. Okay, so people already want to fight me. This is a one. This is another thing that you can do. The combat is amazing. It's a lot like the previous game, except they added a little bit more to it. And by a little bit, I mean a lot to this, to the combat. And like this charging, for example. If he charge, if I don't, if I don't uh, tap the battering on him, he can tackle. Me. So that's another weakness I get. So I guess that's good. Question mark. Okay. So this is the old, this is the first Batman Arkham game which allows you to drive the Batmobile, which is awesome because you get the whole Gotham City. And I think I was getting, I guess Arkham players were getting a little bit tired of just constantly gliding and graveling to a certain location all the time. So what's better than that? Driving a super fast car that can literally destroy anything in its path. Literally, it turns into a tank. Who doesn't like that? which can spew rockets everywhere. That's also a pretty cool thing. So where are they going? <laughs> that's pretty, uh, that's pretty, uh, okay. Um, it's got an afterburner. The controls are amazing. Handling is perfect. Drifting also. And there are some real deep bat uh, Batmobiles that do not have the tank, but are still pretty cool and stylish now. Um, there's like dodge attacks and there's like a whole combat system for the car too. And you just gotta fire at tanks constantly. So um the game is mostly about when Scarecrow decides to bomb the city over bomb Gotham City with fear toxin, which is a toxin that makes people do absolute for their most darkest fears coming to life at them. So it's pretty that, that would be pretty scary to me, so I wouldn't want to do that. Because it's only up to Batman and Robin and his game. Uh, and then uh, at the same time, there's also Gotham's notorious, uh, 
destroy his video villains, trying to take the Batman at the same time, including Penguin, Killer Croc, Rachel Gould. Those are all DLCs, you can buy them. You can purchase to have fun with if you're getting a little bit bored with your free roaming content. And so once you finish the, so once you finish the uh, and once you finish like the the story, you can take the time to either do the free roaming, or you can finish. Or you can wrap up all the uh, story, uh, all the uh, side missions. It's fun. So uh, you see, these are all the missions, and I completed every single one of them except for the darn Riddler. The Riddler is probably one of the hardest challenges to do in every single Batman Arkham game. I mean, except for Arkham Origins. Because uh, every game you have to collect, you have to collect trophies before you have to face the Riddler himself, like coward. <laughs> so that's why, that's why they, so that's why they continued on with the whole Riddler trophy collecting. I really wish they would do something a little bit more different this time. But I've been driving to the Batmobile way too much, so I guess you can also get more with the character himself, the Batman. So. There's two ways to get out of the car, there's the regular way and the awesome ejecting way that shoots him straight off his guy, 300 feet in the air, and launches him straight into gliding. And the character, the character model, um, I mean the standard, then. first you start off with the Arkham City-like character, then you, and at some point in the story you're gonna transform, you're gonna suit up into a much more armored Batman. Practically bulletproof. So, Unless your boys are crap in their pants, and the, the new boss won't let him go. Okay, I'm just gonna turn off the 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 speaker volume because it's a little bit too loud. Because another thing that's pretty annoying is when like the thugs keep saying the same old things, and we have to listen to them because we have the power to. We also we can also hang on to those helicopters. Remember back in Arkham City, we had to like we had to avoid those helicopters. Now we don't have to because they're police helicopters, which is a nice thing they added. Um, the cape looks a lot more different, and the whole suit itself is so armored. And they have a new um, di uh, dive bomb takeoff at this at the beef, like, which is a cool thing. So one keep hold you hold R2 at the same time while holding X, you get this cool dive scene. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. I'm glad they added that because I have. I've always wanted something where they could do that because, because it, look at that, it's just so amazing. And you can even run, just jump off and go straight, and then you can call it Batmobile. And that's another cool thing, instead of trying to find a Batmobile, you can just call it to you, straight to you, which is a pretty cool thing. So, uh, now to get to the, to the other game, oh crap, people want to fight me. Okay, that's done. Gotta go up, so I don't get bothered by anyone. So, so let's. This is a nice rooftop. Uh, they have all. Obviously, they have the grapple boost. And now we get to the gadgets. There's the gadgets. Ha the ga the utility belt has ex has expanded way more, and in the than in the previous Arkham games. So of course they have the good old fashioned battering and the good old fashioned uh, remote control battering. And now they also added a few new things, like the disruptor. This looks like a Call of Duty rifle, but it's actually a rifle to disrupt other, other like others' weapons or hostile things. And once you shoot something, it's also a tracker if you want to track those cars and then take them out, because there's thugs driving is in those cars. That's another cool thing, I like how the streets aren't so empty all the time, and that there's actually people running around, but they're not like real people, they're like thugs and thugs driving cars, stolen cars, so at least it's more packed. And there's all the, f the good old back clock, the remote hacking device, and there's another feature, you can control the battle without being excited. You see that bat symbol up there? That's me. I'm not I'm not controlling the Batmobile without the Batman inside, which is actually a pretty cool feature. Uh, 
And there's also a voice synthesizer. It's like a, it's like one of those voice changer micro headphones, except you can like, you can like uh, tag a, sim a someone and then transform transform Batman's voice into that person and talk to others. I, I, w it's hard to realize how that's useful, but I guess it is. Um, and we, and that's it. But there's still a, and so yeah, it's been elaborated a lot more than from the previous. And I think the gliding has improved a lot as well because you can pull up a lot faster. You can, you can go faster once you dive on. If you just go straight, you'll go like zoom. You go zooming. You go, you go a lot faster in gliding. So that's a fun thing. Plus, the map has been has gone a lot bigger than the, than, than the past games. Here's the whole map, and obviously clicking, it's the same. This is how big the map is, and this is me. It's a big city. I, um, I'm trying to compare this map to Arkham Origins map because I don't remember. It's been like years since I played that game, so it's hard to t it's hard to tell which one is a better um, which is a better map. Because they also had the map of, they also show the maps of the of the previous games, such as uh, Arkham City. You can see Arkham City from the map you're in. But I really wish that you could actually go there, because in Arkham Origins they had the op you had they give you the option to go to Arkham City, or like past Ar like Arkham City before Arkham City. Like this is what that's Wonder Tower. And you can see a lot of hidden Easter eggs, like that was the Joker's Scion of Steel thing. That was the police department. Everything was so like the games. And though, and that tall building over there is the Gotham Royal Hotel. And this is all Arkham Origins map, which and so I like how they have Arkham City and Arkham Origins in together in the same map. And the I think the asylums over there. I think yeah, that over there is the asylum. And I think, I guess so, but, um, I guess that's all of them, so, yeah, you can see a lot of things, I like how the Wonder Tower has this, has the, um, has, has the side of it's blown off because of a reason that I will not tell because I will be spoiling the video game of Arkham City, find out when you play the game, it's a great game, it was actually a highly rated game, so, that's in Arkham City. So there's more to this game than what you think. Instead of just gliding around, punching people, and driving the Batmobile, you can. So you can also enter a lot of buildings, a lot more buildings than before. In Arkham City, you could also you can you can enter a lot of buildings, but in this game, you can enter so much more, um, such as. Uh, the Wayne Tower, and there was no Wayne Tower in the previous game, so, I mean, I think there was, but I don't, there, you don't get to go inside it, and you only get to go inside one floor, but hey, at least you actually get to go inside and meet Lucius Fox, like, this is the first, this, this is not the first, I mean, it's not the first time you see, I mean, I think this is the first time you see Lucius Fox in the game, on the, on the other times you just see him in con cons, but now you actually get to see him I mean, he doesn't seem so happy right now because of a side mission, but, um, yeah, we get to see, uh, the Wayne Manor, uh, I mean, sorry, the Wayne Tower, it's like the first floor of it, can't go to the down, this place was wrecked because of, a because of the side mission, so, I wish it didn't stay like that, like, I, I, like, my table smashed with the computer, dude, that cost several thousand bucks. So there's also a lot more you can you can go inside the underground tunnels and you can like visit the underground parking lot of the Wayne Tower, which looks a lot, which like reminds me a lot of uh, that the the Dark Knight movies because there was, there was always there was like some sort of underground bat cave like place where the where the tumbler was parked. This is a pretty cool place. Or we'll just get the battle for that. When you're tired of running, just call in your number one vehicle. 
so uh, there's, uh, there's still more to this place. Um, you get to go, so besides going, in, but I mean, there's a lot more places you can go inside to, according to the map. Uh, you can go inside lots of places. All the blue, uh, all the blue markers of cities. That's uh, those are places. So we are just inside. We can go inside the Wayne Tower. We can go inside uh, the Riddler's Hideout, which is supposed to be a children's orphanage. Uh, we can go inside Port Adams, which is a s secret underground tunnel. Hold on. Uh, view map. This is the so, uh, and you can even view maps. Oops. You can, there's so many places. All of these blue maps, there's so many places you can go inside. You can go inside these airships. You can go, th you can't go inside this place anymore. There's a certain place, there's a certain part in the story where it gets blown up, so you can't go in there. Um, you can go inside Vanessa Studios. And that's where, uh, like, because in the game, in the previous game, Arkham Origins, you get to actually have the Batcave with you, which is actually a pretty, which is pretty good. Um, but, it, it, so, so instead, they give you like a, uh, they give you a mini back cave inside a, inside a movie, a banded movie studio. So, that's pretty cool, at least you get like a, a some part of the back cave, even though it's not really considered a cave, it's uh, more of a, a back building. <laughs> um, as as well as the map, you get the character bios for every of the, all for all the characters, which is also pretty cool. Um, you even get the character upgrades as usual. These are like web gadget skills, bat suit, and Batmobile, and Batmobile weapons, Batmobile combat, gadget tech, all in gadget skills. So you can upgrade all of that. I have one point. When can I use that one point on? It doesn't. So. And this is like basically your main combat, which you have so far. So, anyways, there's, there's, so also besides that, you also get, you also find out the number of trophies that you can collect. So, that's still pretty cool. So, yeah, so like, that's basically most of what the game is about. You can also get many characters and you can fight a lot of people. And the game is so action packed, but after a while it, it will get boring at some point. So what I would do is I would go for the new game Story Plus, which is just like the previous game, it's the whole story again, except it's a lot more hard for me. And it was really hard for me especially. Because, uh, hard for me because people like they don't really hear hints and stuff so it's really hard. And so if you are a professional Batman Arm player, I would I would then I would suggest you try that because it's still a lot of fun. And uh, so just like so it's basically the previous game mine but added on and more and more. So and probably the most important feature of the game is the Batmobile. Who doesn't want, who doesn't want a Batman simulator with the Batmobile? The Batman, Batman simulator wouldn't be complete without the Batmobile. Or the Batplane, which is seen a couple of times. Or a Batcave, which is a tiny little Batman. And it, and it also wouldn't be complete without a big Gotham City with lots of crime and action packed stuff to do. And a great story. And a great complex, long storyline that makes you keep thinking what's going to happen next. So, thank you so much for, I hope you enjoyed this video, I would rate this game 9 out of 10, or 8 out of 10, because it's, it's a great game, I really love it, the storyline is great, and I think you should try it out. And this is like a finale series to the whole Batman Army game. And you can, you, you can even get ba Batman Return to Arkham if you've never played Batman Arkham City or Asylum. You can get Batman Return to Arkham if you have PlayStation or uh, Xbox One. I think it's for only for PlayStation 4 only. Because if you have a PlayStation 4, don't have to and, uh, Batman.
abandon our city is un are not compatible for rotation force, so that's why you have to uh, get returned to Arkham, and you can try and uh, discover the series yourself. So go ahead, try it out. This game, I rate it a lot. It's a very fun game, it's very action-packed. It's a great dialogue for graphics is great. So basically, what's important about a Batman simulator? So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, please subscribe, let's try to shoot up for more than 20 likes, if we can, that would be absolutely amazing, that would be a great, that would be a great thing, I will, will, there will be more on the way, so, I, so, again, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time, goodbye, Batman lovers.